Hey guys, uh, my name's Josh. I'm going to be starting off the Story of My Life series with the Amalgam blog, which I'm pretty excited about. You're going to be hearing from some people that I love a whole lot, um, and I'm excited for you to be able to hear their stories and what the Lord's been doing in our life. So uh, I'm going to be talking today about um, what God's been doing in my life recently, because uh, like Chris said, our stories aren't just how we came to know Christ, but um, how we've been coming to know Christ since then. Um, so... Uh, I graduated from Anderson University last May of 2009 um, with a degree in Christian Ministries. And the plan was um, I had a band with three of my closest friends, um, and we were going to stay together. Uh, we had <clears throat> a house um, that we had already gotten the money together for a security deposit. We had already signed the lease. All we had to do was uh, turn it back in. We, hadn't, we still had it in our possession. Um, and so we were going to stay in that house for the summer. We were going to uh, tour, do some touring, um, play some dates here and there, <clears throat> and um, at some point record um, with a guy in Atlanta that I had a mutual acquaintance with. And we had money set aside for that as well. So that was the plan. And in about six days, um, God changed all that completely. Um, Chase, my guitarist, uh, we, we went to Waffle House, and he began to tell me about... Um, a, God's plan for a new church in Myrtle Beach, um, and where I would maybe fit into all that, and uh, possibly coming on staff with them, and I knew as he was telling me that, that that was it, I had a piece about it, and I just knew that God was leading me there, I know that sounds really churchy and cliche, but um, that's just the truth, I, I just knew that's where I needed to be, um, but that meant we couldn't get that house, um, and we <laughs> because we'd have to sign a 12-month lease there, and I would have to leave in three months, so that wouldn't work. Um, but we still had dates to honor um, with the band over the summer, and we needed a home base to operate from, so we still needed a place to live together. Um, so within a few days, God provided a place for us to live just for the summer, and I began to make plans to move to the beach. And I did, August 22nd. Um, and like I said, I never had any, any doubts that this is where God would have me to be. Um, but as the months went on, um, I, I didn't find a job. Um, church planning doesn't pay a lot of money, and so I had rent to make up for. I had, uh, you know, food to pay for, uh, gas, and, and all that fun stuff. And um, I had money in my savings that was kind of tidying me over, and the church was able to help me out um, a, a good bit with, with that. Um, but I needed a job to be able to, to uh, take care of those financial, financial needs and responsibilities I had. And so uh time passed and I put out you know um, I don't know over 80 applications online um, for places in the area I applied at um, a whole lot of stores in the mall and um, it just nothing was working it was very discouraging I was very frustrated and it seemed like anytime we had to lead somewhere a door would just close and it wouldn't happen and so I came to a point where I just said Lord I, I've got nothing left I, I don't have any other connections. I have no more ideas about where I could work. I've exhausted every possibility in my own mind. So if this is going to happen, I absolutely 100% need you to step in because I can't do it. I've tried and I have failed. It has to be you. And I promise you, within a week, I met a guy named Jason um, who was a manager at Reebok in North Myrtle. He told me they didn't have any openings at his store, but he would look around for me. The next day, he called me to set up an interview, um, and the day after that, I walked into Nautica at the Tanger in North Myrtle and was hired on the spot. And uh, that just doesn't happen. Um, it's very, very, very uncommon. So God provided. It wasn't in my timing. It wasn't the kind of job I thought I would get, um, but it was what I needed. And I've seen now how, how he led me there, reasons why he's led me there. Um, and I'm grateful for that. And that's been the story since we started. Um, even with our church, we're going through a lot of changes right now and um, have a new new elder team of elders that we didn't have before. Um, we have a new location off of Business 17, um, which is on the other side of town from where we were, which means we're starting a whole, we're basically starting over. We have a new community, which is our responsibility to reach out to as a church um, and learning how to reach out to those people effectively. It's just a whole new ball game, um, but it's so exciting because um, yeah, it's different. Yeah, we're having to start from scratch, almost literally, um, but we've seen God's hand in this the entire time. We have seen how he's led us from one physical place to another and how he's led us from one spiritual place to another. And uh, have we arrived? No, absolutely. There's, there's progress to be made, um, but we see, we see him leading us. Um, we see that he is um, shaping us. 
and teaching us as we go along, and, and that's so encouraging. So I'm about out of time, but um, I just want to leave you with uh, with one of my favorite favorite scriptures in the Bible. It's in, found, found in 1 Timothy chapter 2. Um, it says, it, it's, it's a part of a, a smaller quote, but um, it says, when we are faithless, he remains faithful. So I just want to encourage you to remember that regardless of uh, where you've been, what you've done, your doubts, your fears, that the Lord is the same as he was in scripture. Um, the stories you see there that seem unrealistic, where, wow, that's a miracle that I would never see, is the same God that, that we serve today. He's the same God that, that loves you, um, the same God who wants wants to and is revealing himself to you, and he'll be the same tomorrow too. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you've been encouraged um, by what God's been doing in my life. Um, and just remember um, that the Lord is good um, above all else, regardless of your circumstances. Know that, that he is He's working through those and will work through those. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy the rest of the series. It's going to be good stuff. And uh, peace out.